Good morning. This is Olive McDonough here at Butterfly Cottage Retreat by Moonlight. The camera doesn't capture but the moon, it's the uh, flower moon, a super moon and it is absolutely phenomenal. The camera really doesn't capture at all. Um, it just looks massive and so clear. But I just wanted to give a little tour of the garden on a uh, a moony morning. <laughs> There's a lovely little hammock for chilling, little pond and yeah it's all the growth is starting there the first lupins are out um, they're just starting a giant poppy there and there's our greenhouse and there's loads of budding growth in there now things getting ready for the vegetable garden there's a nice pretty little seated area amongst the wildflowers and more lupins coming there. There's lots of growth here now. Lots of flowers. Uh, there's loads of the bluebells out. The hydrangea about to come out and yeah, some more glorious. The fuchsia, the wild rose and then we come down to the vegetable garden here. Some of the cabbages gone to seed wildly. <laughs> The rabbits have been feasting on some of them. Uh, we share with the uh, the animals and the insects there. There's some rhubarb and there's some chard. There's a raspberry section over there with some elderberries on the way. There's some really mature apple trees over there. And then we have buckets of strawberries on the way. We actually filled a second bath this year. We had so many, um, which is uh, fabulous. They are available for the retreat days as well then for gorgeous eats. There's loads coming out there, as you can see. We have to protect them from the birds and the rabbits so that we actually get some at all. <laughs> Sharing is wonderful, but they can't take it all on us uh, for all our hard efforts. Um, yeah, there's some stuff coming up now. There's asparagus down the back. There's some carrots, parsnips. Um, and then there's loads of um, greens in the greenhouse just budding up now, preparing to be transplanted into the veggie garden. All sorts of delights um, for eating, which is fabulous. And then this is coming out then onto a bit of the land. There is a um, marquee set up as you can see for some things in the summer and there's some really mature apple trees up here actually this is these are some less mature ones along here there's a bit of an orchard with some apples and pears and plums and some other stuff and then we've got this lovely walk so there's all these different paths um, mown in the field for nice walks um, but up here I'll show you these, these gorgeous um, that's a cooker that big tree there and this is a, a kind of a tart eater and um, you'll see there's absolutely buckets of buds looks amazing so there'll be plenty of eats on that tree now we use a lot of those for apple cider vinegar making actually it does us the whole year and this is a bit of a clearing, some hollies that need a little bit of love and attention now, very soon. And we come around. And you probably can't see it properly there, but there's the moon is just, it's huge in real life. The camera doesn't really capture it, I can see through. Um, but it's glorious and it has me awake at the crack of dawn. I woke up at full of beans at a quarter to five. <laughs> so um, a nice early morning practice for me anyway. Um, this is one of my favourite trees here. It's just starting to come out. And beyond that there's a, a little forest area being planted now very shortly. And um, you'll see here some glorious little huts for all sorts of animals around here. 
So we come down. This is an area where I forage in a good bit actually, but it's just been cleared for there's going to be a forest planted here now very shortly. And look at all the haws, all the um, gorgeous haw flowers are out, which are so pretty. Um, so I'll be coming out now and harvesting some of those over the next day or two for some teas and some tinctures and stuff. Um, there is a very medicinal hedgerow around, which is fabulous. There's lots of wild rose, loads of elderberry, loads of haw. And yeah, I loved uh, one of the great things about the restrictions last summer was doing a, an amazing foraging course um, to learn more of how to really, um, yeah, consume, learn how to consume safely all the gorgeous medicinal Irish inverted commas weeds and um, yeah, learn how, all about them. So to make sure it was safe, this is a, a willow planting area here. So we'll be willow structures in the future, please God. <laughs> I love um, creative stuff and experimenting with things. So that'll be down the line. We love, there's so much willow here that we'll have, yeah, some sort of a project to create a nice willow structure maybe or something. Um, the joys here are endless. There's just so many options. There's another little path there now over. Yeah, so it's lovely to come here for walks. Um, God, it was such a blessing during the restrictions and yeah, but the restrictions have made it possible to spend a lot more time creating a more beautiful space for all of you. So a win-win, I guess. We have to look at the silver linings. And this is, the, we're coming up to this um, amazing beech tree. It has a little canopy. It's, well, we know it as the hugging tree. And it's just, yeah, it's my morning anchor. It's just so beautiful. And we've all gorgeous forget-me-nots flying up now. And it's just a nice little quiet space to come. And, yeah. See all the lovely colour. This is the stone anchor we created last year and and it so is. It's just such a gorgeous tree. So I love coming here. And then we have, this is a chakra walk. It's just actually in the middle of being done. So we've planted it and cleared the area and now there's going to be some nice additions to make it into a beautiful, well, it is a beautiful meditation walk already, but just I'm going to put up some, well, you'll see. I'll show you when it's ready. It's going to be fab. So there's the seven primary chakras and here's a tree for each one. And on my morning ritual, I, um, yeah, I do a sound at each one and I'll show you in another video maybe. Um, and there's going to be a lovely spiral path up here so um, and a little instruction for those in the garden just to to do this gorgeous walk and make some healing sounds and then thanks to my partner and my sister and her partner mainly for putting it up um, we have this beautiful new meditation hut, this lovely gazebo. I did such a gorgeous practice there yesterday. Um, and it's just gorgeous. And this, as you can see, is surrounded by holes as well. They're just glorious at the moment for that short little window that they appear. But they're heavenly, I have to say, just to be around here. It was absolute bliss yesterday. I was high on life <laughs> meditating, my full moon meditations, and it was just like, yeah, just glorious, I have to say. I just felt so grateful. And this is the gorgeous stone labyrinth walk. So another little meditation walk where there is a symbol for each of the elements in here. 
and you can just walk into the center and then there's all crystals around that center stone that you can just take a moment to release whatever is no longer serving and then walk out as you consciously let go of whatever you want and again the energy in there is just gorge another beautiful beach there that has um, you'll see it has kind of like a little portal there but there's it's like kind of like a hagstone it's like a hag tree that has this little crisscross and a little kind of a a hole so to speak um, but it's lovely and this will be blooming now with glorious yellow flowers now in about a month or two this will be just a mass of yellow flowers which is just stunning um, but I'll I'll be sure to show you then as well so we're back around now to the orchard so there's loads of apple blossoms coming out now and there's all raspberry canes all in between all the, the trees as well so we have we have a mass of raspberry, so there's a um, kind of like a raspberry border here. And then also in the vegetable garden, there's like a raspberry forest. So we are, yeah, we have absolutely crops to beat the band now. So from June right through till November, because we have the summer crop and the autumn crop. So it's fantastic. So harvest season can be busy getting it all ready, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's fab. So I just wanted to give you a little morning tour. I haven't been on in a while. And yeah, just to share what's going on here. And just to invite you to, to book in now. We're opening for private retreat days. So after that, we'll open just to kind of whenever we can, when restrictions lift fully. I'm going to do one day a month whereby people can book in just by themselves and meet others who book in by themselves and you can just shoot me an email um, or a message to put you on that list to be contacted for those days if you wanted to come by yourself and just meet a group here um, but in June now we're starting to take bookings for for private days so I'll just give you a little peek at the greenhouse so if you wanted to basically yeah, yourself alone. I do private days if you wanted to really just be held yourself or if you want to come with a couple of friends or family. I'll just show you all this budding growth. So um, I just stuck a few plants in there to, that's the first of the courgettes and cucumbers. There's loads of them coming up there. And we've got some beans. We've got lots of greens, loads of lettuce. We've got broccoli. We've um, kale, cabbages coming up. That's a big mature grapevine. We get loads of grapes here randomly enough in Ireland, but this is thriving from the previous owners planted it and it's just thriving here. And then we have some surprises coming up there and some courgettes. We have lots of kale, turnip, greens. Then I have some sunflowers coming up. Yeah, loads of stuff coming up really well, actually. Some, a few, um, well, lots planted by ourselves and then a few I purchased just to go with. I like to hedge my bets. Um, and then we have this, which I think is a chilli plant. It was a surprise from last year and it looked like it was still alive. So I kept it through the winter and it's actually thronging with stuff now. So I think there's little red chilies coming out. It's, I believe, chilies, if not maybe peppers, but I'm pretty sure it's a red chilli plant. But we'll, time will tell. So that's all. I wanted to just say hello as well. And yeah, just show you around for those who aren't familiar with it. And yeah, just really welcome you here. Um, I'll do a video inside another time now with the yoga room and stuff. Um, and we have the juice studio is very nearly ready, which is for all the nutritional workshops. So for a nutrition and relaxation retreats, it is just such a beautiful place to come and be held and supported for the day. So if you're feeling like you could do with a boost of nourishment, a boost of relaxation, do get in touch. Olive McDonough 
at butterflycottageretreat.ie and our new website's coming it's actually i'm going to do an official launch now in the next week or two um but if you want a sneaky preview you can go in butterflycottageretreat.ie just with all fabulous now courses and all the music available online we have a series of new gorgeous journals and notebooks and yeah just so many wonderful offerings now to support everybody so have a great day and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks a mil. Bye.